I got it figured out. Let's say you're standing out here and you're looking at it and this should say left. The problem I had was when this door got placed, the actual sliding part of the door was on the outside and I don't believe I've ever seen a sliding glass door that does that unless it's installed inside out. Because somebody could just come and grab that whole door and just lift it up and pull it out. So um, this would be the way you would see it. And from inside, it looks like it goes from right to left. But from outside, it the actual handle starts on the left and goes to the right. And the... the here we go. This is from uh, Wikipedia. I'll let you read that. Handedness of a sliding door is expressed as seen by an observer outside the building. When standing outside, a left-hand door opens from the left to the right when closed. The handle is on the far left. And a right-handed door opens from right to left. When closed, the handle is on the far right. These relationships are sometimes described with the letters O and X. Where O is the fixed panel and X is the sliding panel. The XO notation allows description of doors with more than two panels. <clears throat> there you go. All right, so um, yeah, now this is correct. Um, and all that is is right here under label, and I added this. And you can copy this all you want. This doesn't run the macro that... Uh, Alaskan Sun sold me. So, uh, but I added this part afterwards and it added the hinge side. And now I just realized I need to always check which way the door is oriented so that I don't have the door loaded backwards. And here it is here too. So it works correctly. You're outside. It's going from left to right. Here you are. You're outside. It's going from right to left. So if you're going to order sliding doors, um, and let's say this one is, uh, let's go nuts. Let's make this one uh, 96 feet. And it will have, I don't know. Oh, you know what? Let's see what that does. Let's go two and two and see what it does. Oh, look at that. 8068. I've seen some, the biggest one I ever saw was uh, 10 foot. <clears throat> I'm sure they make them bigger. I'm sure they make them like 12 feet. Or even bigger than that. And the one that I saw actually didn't split like this. It actually, all the doors went to one way. So they could all stack. And in this instance, I'd probably stack them. Well, it depends, but stack them where they're out of the way. But it's look, it still gets it. It's a 10.068 right sliding door, and they all slide to the left. They start from the right and go to the left. So that's the end of this one. Um, we've learned roof area has to be the area comma surface. And then that will match the actual hypotenuse of the roof. And I can't believe that I was zeroed in on this, which is just the, the run. This is down here on the bottom. Oh, man. I'm glad it's a Sunday and I'm catching these little things now so that I don't fall flat on my face later. <laughs> All right. Y'all have a good one.